Hello, my name is Emma Parazak, and I am a senior theater performance major with minors in mathematics and education studies. I am president of Nebraska Maskers, and I helped put together the Carson Co-op for Social Justice with Nadia Williams, president of Carson DE&I, and Mitchell Guinan, president of Cinema 16. We wanted to give students an opportunity in the Hicks and Lee College of Fine and Performing Arts, a chance to create art with one another, all under the umbrella of social justice. We got four groups together, so I think we did it. We did it all throughout this semester. So sit back, relax, and enjoy an evening of student-made projects showcasing what social justice means to us. Yes! Hi, I'm Beck Dameron. I'm a senior theater performance major from Bentonville, Arkansas. Um, I learned how to make a unique video on how to get people to vote and encourage them to vote with sock puppets. It was really fun and um, it was cool meeting with like a different group of people and creating this little skit. I hope you enjoy. election you did it <laughs> that's stupid do you not know the power of the vote <laughs> you don't <laughs> well let's start at the beginning in 1492 columbus sailed the no <laughs> brought the 15th Amendment and the right to vote for every land-owning man, regardless of color. Women didn't get the right to vote until 1920, but that wasn't a guarantee of the accessibility of the vote. Voter suppression was, and continues, to be a major barrier in the making sure everyone has their voices heard at the polls. There were systems put in place to suppress voting and intimidate voters, some of which still stand today. Examples of this would be grandfather clauses, poll taxes, literacy tests, as well as things like voter ID requirements and location of polling sites. This just goes to show the significance and importance of using your voice. If it wasn't valuable, there would be no reason to try and suppress it. For example, in Georgia, a record number of newly registered voters, most of them black, voted for Joe Biden to become the first Democratic nominee backed by the state since 1992. In 2016, there were 245.5 million Americans who were old enough to vote. However, in November 2016, there were only 157.6 million registered to vote and only 137.5 million people said to have actually voted that year. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Your voice matters. Voting matters. Voting alone will not fix things, but voting in general is a strong start. If you didn't vote this year, make sure to be prepped and ready come the next election, whether that be locally or nationally. You can register to vote at www.vote.gov.org See you at the polls! Uh, how do I turn this off? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hi, I'm Kelly Ma. I'm a first year theater performance major from Mitchell, South Dakota. I didn't really have any preset expectations for this project. I just knew it was going to be really important and I ended up having a great experience. I think this project was so special because it opened up a dialogue which allowed people to come together and speak their own truths about their experiences with social justice and formative oppression and we were able to discover some shared experiences and then notice within those some different perspectives. So we were able to take that and then just create a piece of art that allows 
people to see each other more clearly and hopefully that'll cultivate a society with a little more compassion because we're all here together sharing a piece of the same timeline. Hi, I'm Sydney Cook and I'm a freshman and I'm from Topeka, Kansas. And the reason why I did this co-op is because I wanted to use the platform that I have and the talents that I bring to the table to talk about social injustice. Hi, I'm Mariana Hermosillo, and I'm a sophomore theater performance major. Hi, my name is Mo Benish. I'm a freshman design tech major from here in Lincoln. Um, one reason that I signed up for the co-op project was because I thought it would be a really great opportunity to hear a lot of different perspectives from a lot of different people, and I definitely was not disappointed, so thanks for the opportunity. Hi, my name is Bruno Andrade. I'm from Brazil, and I'm a freshman at uh, the performance major at UNL. Um, the main reason I was interested in the Carson Co-op is because I thought it was an amazing opportunity to work with people from different majors and different grades 
to work with them as a team and also to share our vision on social justice, which is a very important theme nowadays, especially in the American society. So I was happy to be a part of such a great project like that. Where am I? So nice of you to drop by for a visit. I know you are a busy man who has a lot of things to do. So I will keep this short. I just have one quick question. What does social justice mean to you? Social justice? Was this some kind of joke? What do you want from me? Well, you see, Mr. Walter, you cost a lot of people of this country a huge deal of hurt. I was wondering if you were at least capable of feeling some kind of empathy. Empathy? <laughs> You're the one who kidnapped me! Let me go! Well, let's see. This is what the human race has to say to you. Light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who have been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. I don't like how we treat it. Just because of our color doesn't mean anything to me. I believe that. We did it. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next president of the United States. <laughs> the people of this nation have spoken. They've delivered us a clear victory. A convincing victory. A victory for we the people. We've won with the most votes ever cast on presidential ticket in the history of the nation. What's your name? My name is Makai Mitchell. Makai Mitchell. Yes. Hi, Makai. Where are you from? I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. Born Omaha. and raised. Omaha. Okay. Um, how old are you? 18 years old. Ooh. Just turned 18. Just turned when? Uh, June. June. Okay. Okay. So, not only was this your first presidential election, but it was your first election, like, overall. Yeah. Okay. Um, so tell me about life in Omaha growing up. What was it like? Uh, life in Omaha for me wasn't too bad. Um, I lived down north a little bit, from like five to seven-ish. Uh, moved out the neighborhood, then I've been in the house I'm in over in the northwest area ever since then. Okay. Um, life hasn't been too bad, um, not until I got older. That's when I started to experience life as we all know life to be. Um, okay, so Makai, what do you think is, like, has been the most influential event to happen in Omaha that has, like, had an impact on you? I think the work I did this summer 
um, following the George Floyd pro uh, protest has probably had the biggest impact on me in this election. Um, following his, his death, um, you know about James Scurlock, the situation that happened downtown. Um, I actually went to a city council meeting and I was the first person to speak. And I got, I, I guess I said what everybody wanted to hear. And everybody, I got a lot of people contacting me and wanted to post what I said. Uh, I posted the video of what I said and kind of took off a little bit. When I watched the video of the cop kneeling on Floyd's neck for nine minutes, I thought of how that could have been me or any of my brothers. Our entire mission this summer was to let people know that their voice matters. That's been, that's been my thing since the beginning. And uh, just to see everybody come out and vote means a lot. And especially when Omaha and Lincoln um, happened to be the only blue part of Nebraska. And everybody was like, nah, my vote doesn't matter. Yada, yada, yada. It's not, they don't, it, does, it doesn't matter. I'm like, no, trust me, it does. My vote does matter. Where are you from? I am from Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha, Nebraska. Where'd you go to high school? Um, I went to Mercy High School. Oh, what was that like? Um, I loved it when I was there, but uh, it was all girls, Catholic. Um, yeah. What was your education like in terms of policy and politics? I feel like in Catholic school, it was like more like censored when talking about politics and it was more like Jesus oriented in terms of things like they weren't going to be like, I don't know, I feel like some things were kind of like glossed over or made more like, because like some people with like big money, if they heard like mm -hmm. opinions, they'd be like, well, I don't want to support your Catholic school. So it was a little bit like. Not like numb, but I don't know what I'm saying. Growing up, what is the one event that happened in Omaha that has made voting in this election the most important thing to you? Mm. Because I feel like when I went to college, like my like view of the world was like expanded because like this is a public university, and I feel like especially like this past summer, like going to Black Lives Matter events and walks and marches and everything like that was really like the main reason why I knew that like in this election that this was important. Also like the way that they've been handling COVID um, in this state was like very important to me like in terms of voting because like this summer, especially when like every time like we would go out like marching and chanting in the streets because literally innocent black people were killed. There would be like people who are anti-protesting our walks and literally be like, but like screaming stuff at us as we were literally just walking. And that was like a big reason why I voted because I recognize that in this state, there's a lot of people who are more conservative and who are more just like ignorant and I'm a person who tries to educate myself and use my voice because like growing up like my parents are like Democrat and like so I've never like held those views of Republicans and so I knew growing up that like this I wanted to vote obviously. Hi what's your name? Monty Jones. You're Monty Jones? Where'd you go to high school? I went to three, so I went to North Star, and then I moved to Colorado, and went to Smoky Hill, and then, well, Eagle Crest. Okay. How do those three schools, um, education when it comes to politics, like, how do they compare? Um, they're pretty much the same, Democrat, for each school. North Star was different, I mean, of course here is different, because... More diversity in Colorado. Well, I went to the protest here. So it was pretty crazy. Yeah. What was it like? Cause I know. Um, what was your experience in the protest? Um, they would. They would. It would be peaceful for a few hours, and then they got like very violent. A lot of um, tear gas. 
brought the National Guard here and they just started chasing people. So that was crazy. What were your what was your reaction to the twenty twenty election results? I was happy about that. Happy about that? I was excited. Yeah. My name is Annie. Um, I'm a junior at UNL studying Emerging Media Arts. I currently live in Lincoln for school, uh, but I'm originally from Omaha. I grew up feeling like Omaha was really boring and awful, but it was mostly just because I was in West Omaha. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, it's been it's been a lot. I mean, I, I, I finally like, you know, Growing up, learned about, you know, redlining, the history of that, and, like, why Omaha is the way it is. And I think, having learned that, I think I felt a bit of resentment about growing up in a place that wasn't very diverse um, and feeling so out of place in my formative years. This was the first presidential election I voted in. It has been incredible to see my vote make a difference. Especially in an election as tense as this one, it's been really, really amazing to see it, like, actually make a difference. Um, but basically, I mean, though I feel like voting is not entirely the solution to fixing our country's problems, I'm glad it still did something. It was, it's kind of cool. But, yeah, let's go Nebraska, too. We did People it! We did it, Joe. You're gonna be the next the president of the United victory. States. <laughs> a convincing <laughs> victory! A victory for we the people.